All right, welcome back to the ORCAD X layout training videos. We have just this one video left before we start doing some manufacturing outputs. This video is going to focus on silk screening and all the different things that you can do to add some silk screen and some nice little accents to your board. Or, uh, you know, just annotate it more or less with things like reference designators and whatnot. So let's jump right into it. If you've been following along, please continue working on your board. If you would like to continue from this step onwards, then you can download the how to underscore silkscreening.brd file and follow along with this video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to edit some of the silk screen on your board. Currently, as you can see here, I have right now just my top layer enabled and the board outline. You can quickly turn on the silk screen top layers with this button at the bottom on this floating menu. And you can see that there's a lot of reference designators that are already, well, there's some that are in an okay spot and then there's others that are either overlapping with other silk screen overlapping on a pad. Those are things that we really want to avoid. Now there are ways to enable design for manufacturing checks that can flag DRCs for all of these. We'll leave that for a more advanced video in another session. What we'll talk about in this is, you know, how do you move some of these reference designators around, rotate them, etc. And then also you may have noticed that a lot of these reference designators here look a little different than what they have in the previous videos. And that's because in the previous videos, these all had zero width on the lines. I changed this, but currently at the time of recording the video, there's not a great way to do it in ORCID X layout. So I'll attach a note, maybe in another video or just a quick readme that you can download on how to fix this so that you have a specified width on all of your reference designator text. So to move the text, simply go into the move command, change your selection filter to text, you know, set your grid to what you want it to be. I like to use the finest grid when moving text around as sometimes you need to get into little, you know, hard to read spots and then select it and move it around. You get this nice little white line indicator that shows you which component the reference designator is attached to. And that's just helpful if you have a lot of components near each other and you're not sure where it's supposed to go. It'll just give you a nice little indication. Also, let's just turn snapping off. There we go. Now on my board, I selected vias that don't have any silkscreen opening on them. And so if I were to place this reference designator over these vias, and we look at it in the 3D view, we would have no issues with actually viewing the reference designator because there would be no silkscreen opening. There would be no silkscreen material going into the hole either because the hole is already covered with the solder mask. Let's go back into 2D view. So we can go through and move all of these into good spots. Generally, you want these to be either right side up or oriented in a standard direction. I like it to be a left to right or bottom to top when there's not enough space I simply order them like so we have R8 and then R13 And I'm using the R hotkey to quickly rotate the text. This actually isn't the best view for editing silkscreen, I think. There we go. Having the solder mask on and just the silkscreen layer will let you know what areas to avoid and what areas you can, you can move your reference designators around to. Now, one thing you can also do is let's take an example of this footprint here. Let's say that we've been asked to actually edit this component and add a pin one indicator. We could either draw it manually by going to the shape and selecting polygon for our shape use. We would go down to silk screen, silk screen top, and then draw a polygon. Alternatively, 
And then this would be something that is, you know, specific to this board. If someone were to reuse this part at some point in the future, they too would not have this pin one indicator. What we can do instead is actually add this indicator to the footprint of this component by editing the silkscreen layers for this component. To do so, select on the component and do a right click and select Edit Footprint. Edit Footprint will launch the Footprint Editor, which is basically just a new window of ORCAD X layout. And in it, we will have a Footprint Editor, which will allow us to do a couple different things that aren't normally in ORCAD X layout. You'll notice that there is some additional commands here like Add Pin using Search, Add Pad Wizard, Pad Stack Editor, as well as add reference designator and some additional things that you can also access. What we can do, and let's just find which pin is pin one. Uh, it's this one right here. Change this color to white, a little easier to see. So my pin one is this one in the top left. What I'm going to do is just under the shape command in the footprint editor, there's an add line command. And you can either draw with a line or you can create a shape using the shape tool. I think what I'm going to do is add a rectangle. Now let's do a polygon, silk screen layer, silk screen top, filled, get my grid on, and we want it to be right here. Once we're done with this footprint, we can go ahead and do a file save. And there's gonna be plenty of other videos that you can watch for creating and editing footprints in ORCAD X layout. This is just a quick one to show you how we can add a small silk screen feature to our footprint. Save it, then close the footprint editor. And then ORCAD X layout is going to ask us if we want to refresh our symbol. So symbol has been modified, do you wanna refresh? Say yes. And then we're good to go. The pin one indicator is now part of the symbol. So even if I move this component, you'll notice that that indicator travels with it. If someone wants to reuse the part in the future, they will also have this pin one indicator. The last thing I want to talk about before I go through and move all of these reference designators into their correct spot is simply just adding some text or some lines. If you want to add text on the silk screen layer, under the add line command, there is the add text command. We can move to the silk screen layer, silk screen top. You can choose your text block. And like I mentioned before in that document or short video that I'll share how to edit the width of these text blocks, and you can make the text a little more visible. But here we can just simply click anywhere on the canvas and then start typing. We're going to call this the ORCAD X layout tutorial board and then we can add some nice lines too on silk screen layer silk screen top and we can make this a little wider And now we should be able to view this in the 3D mode. There is our little box with a label for our board. Again, you can include any sort of information that you want. Both the shape, the line, and the text tool should be enough to you know, add any sort of annotation that you might need. And then there's one more thing that we need to talk about really quick too. And that is changing reference designators on your board. If you want to change reference designators on your board, you can do so with renumber ref does. There will be a separate video on changing and renumbering our reference designators, but it is accessible through here. And then that can just change these values. It won't change the position, but just the values. Okay, so that is it for this video. 
I will go ahead and spend the rest of the video quickly adjusting the position of all of these reference designators and hopefully we can speed that video up. In the next video, we will start outputting some manufacturing files. Thanks for watching.